suggesting the Comforter anointed him. The Comforter did not anoint anyone one to take the throne. We want to do a fact check on these three candidates who claim they have been anointed by our Comforter to show you that they are lying. IPHC Constitution Regarding Leadership the constitution of IPHC says the incumbent comforter prepares and appoints his successor. Before anyone ascends the throne, one must have been ordained as a priest by the incumbent comforter. All three candidates, Chepiso, Leonard, and Mike, were not ordained as priests by the comforter and that automatically rules them out. Comforter Teachings One of the key teachings of our comforter is that the foundation of IPHC is the truth. Our Comforter strongly hated lies and encouraged all of us to tell the truth. All these ambitious candidates lied. Leonard lies, in court papers, that his brother was anointed by our Comforter. Leonard later changes the story and lies he was anointed during his wedding in front of everyone. Leonard has changed his story again in court papers and now says he was anointed in his dreams. Chepiso lied that he was anointed in private family meeting, but there is no proof to this day. Mike said he is Comforter's son and claimed to have a will and video to prove that he was anointed. And now in court papers, Mike says he was elected by the church council, congregation, and priests when it is on record that he deceitfully captured the same church leadership and used them to trick the children of God with non-existent will and DVD. Just like Leonard who constantly changes his story each time, Mike is now saying he was anointed by the founder when he was 19 years. Too much lies were spewed by the priests in all camps, even their heads, imposters, after they anoint themselves, it can take the entire book to relate them. We only focused on the heads specifically concerning the throne for now. The Comforter, the Holy Spirit that Lord Jesus Christ promised us is the Spirit of Truth, manifested in our Comforter, that leads in the right ways, it unthinkable for him to lie. To even compare such greatness with these liars is blasphemy of highest order, it is no accident why the followers have lost all wisdom in the matters of God, to join them one must lose common sense first, and rewire their natural thinking process. We are only grateful that they all branded themselves and invented their own new names, Jacob, Leonard, Triple Power or Mighty Comforter, Chepiso, Tau, Sandlana. True IPHC leader is the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, Momedi Modimo, just as the Bible tells us. Amen. <laughs> all these fake imposters of our comforter, Leonard, Chepiso, Mike and many others, like to imitate these holy words of our comforter in their respective campaigns with their supporters, and they seem to have forgotten that they have put the holy name of God to shame, are responsible for a lot of bloodshed, and loss of lives, they forgot that the true comforter is the spirit of truth and his works are heavenly for eternal life, and while theirs are of darkness, deception and lies driven by material objects of this world,
The reader must be thinking that all IPHC members have at least joined or sided with either one of those factions as that is what is portrayed in the media, but the truth of the matter is that there is a large number of IPHC members who are refusing to compromise the teachings of our comforter and the principles of IPHC and they are instead sitting at home. <laughs> We are praying to the Comforter to expose these unbelievers who have hijacked the Kingdom of God with a barrage of lies and barrel of a gun. Those children of the Comforter, who are sitting at home, although it is not an ideal situation, are motivated and continue with their prayers to the Comforter because what is now happening in the Kingdom was foretold by our Comforter. The teachings of the Comforter on Mount Zion, the IPHC Leorberg Mountain in Cape Town, it can fill an entire book to relate the teachings of the Comforter, but we only chose a few just show the reader how the Comforter foretold all of what is happening. The Comforter told us the Bible is about IPHC, the Kingdom of God and its prophecies will be fulfilled in it. The Comforter said, These people draw near to me with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship of me is but rules taught by men. Therefore, I will again confound these people with wonder upon wonder. The wisdom of the wise will perish, and the intelligence of the intelligent will be hidden. Our Comforter warned us of spreading of lies and how much God abhors liars. Amen. 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 The Comforter M. G. also told about us about the impostors Bipay, this is where the name came from, people who elect themselves into positions of power. He warned us about such people even before these impostors, Leonard, Chepiso, and Mike, came into being. Nine now, here is a better. We say, I said, 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 all nations of the world will say, let's all go to Mount Zion. The kingdom of God can continue without anyone on the throne. In his teachings at some point, the Comforter said there would be a time when there would be no one on the throne but multitudes would still be healed the same way, and the Kingdom of God would still flourish. In a similar way, during Biblical Peter's era there was no one on the throne but still, the Kingdom flourished, and miracles were happening through the Holy Spirit. From 2016 to 2018 ailing visitors to the Kingdom of God were healed without any physical being on the throne, some even requested to testify, even today we still experience miracles in our lives. This was the prophecy of our Father that there is going to be a time where people will be healed and would simply request for church uniforms and ask to join the church and this would happen without anyone on the throne, a clear example that we are of the Spirit. The leadership in the Kingdom of Israel, of which IPHC is likened to by the Comforter, is at the discretion of God not earthly monarchs, and bloodline doesn't dictate its heredity. 
IPHC was making good progress had it not been for the false priests and unprincipled leaders betraying the kingdom of God. All it takes for the successful expansion of the kingdom of God is truth and adherence to the teachings of God not family as the Comforter made it clear.